I'm attempting to fly the huge coastline of Britain in just one week in a small single engine plane. Together with my friend Philippe, been a while, Philippe. You and me both. we set off from Brighton Pier on a Monday morning and have just five days to not only fly the coastline as accurately as possible. Is this the John O'Groats point? It is, right here. This is John O'Groats. But along the way to also try and stand on the eastern, northern, western and southern extremities of mainland Britain. Hey. It's a huge week of flying, of problem solving. you notice that we're not facing in the direction of a road. Dealing with weather issues. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, what do we think? Can we, yeah. Oh, this sucks. And working out exactly how we get to the extreme points of Britain. But our new way of getting from here out to the most western point is directly ahead of us here. But all the while getting to see this fascinating coastline from a very unique perspective. In the last episode, we flew from Biggin Hill to a place called Beckles so we could visit Ness Point, which is the easternmost point of mainland Britain. We made it. We made it. We then flew all all the way up the east coast of England and finally ended up here in New Hall, Mainz, which is where our mission starts from today. But this being Scotland, already this morning, the weather is quite a serious consideration. Well, good morning from New Hall, Mainz, here in Scotland. It's absolutely beautiful here. This is a private strip that's behind me. You can park your aircraft here, and then over in the distance is the accommodation. There's a restaurant there. And as you can also see around me, very, very gray up here in Scotland today. Now the cloud base in Inverness, where we're heading to, to get some fuel, which is only about a five minute flight, is actually at about 500 feet right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we get across there. And then we're gonna make our way further up north to far north Scotland and Wick. And the cloud base there is not quite as bad as Inverness, but it's still quite low. The plan from Wick is then to try and travel around as much of the coastline as we can today. And I think, depending on the weather, we're actually thinking that we might actually come back here to New Hall, Mainz. First of all, because it's very comfortable, but also because there aren't as many places to stay over on the west coast of Scotland. So really the objectives today are to try and stand on the northernmost point of Great Britain and make as much of a dent in the coastline as we can for the rest of the day. And after that, well, I guess we'll just see where yeah, we end up. I'll do the takeoff. You can do the landing again. How oh. about that? Right. Oh, after yesterday, <laughs> after when you just creamed it on the runway, it's beautiful. Why won't you cream it on the runway? Well, you fly with me long enough. Let's All right, go. off the brakes. Rudder control. Yeah, we've back pressure. Back pressure. Yeah, keep the nose off. There you go. All right, so nose is up above there. Little bump. That's it. And then a ground effect, right? Yeah, nice! There we go, and up. Bird. And bird. And now runway flaps away. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Thank pull you. Up. Alrighty, boys, see you later. See you, have a safe night, Oh, well, good morning, Scotland. Good morning, Scotland! <laughs> It's looking very green and beautiful today. Look at that one. Look at that schloss. Nice no, schloss. Hang on, I thought schloss. Oh no, schloss is waterfall. Schloss is waterfall. That's what we learned in last Iceland. year. Schloss is castle schloss in is Germany. In Germany. So breakfast this morning, Philippe had a really good idea that instead of getting fuel from Inverness, because we're actually staying at a place that has got an active airstrip and... And the owner has an airplane that he flies in and out of there. He does, yeah. So Philippe thought, well, maybe there's also Avgas on site, and there was. So we did a quick fuel top up. Only a little bit, really, just to give us a bit of an extra margin. And we had the fuel reserves, but yeah. just just the right fuel reserves. Yeah. So now we have more than the required fuel reserves, and so we don't have to you know, be uh, clenching while we're landing yeah. into WIC. <laughs> Think, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. And so now we can pretty much do, we've got the fuel that we need and we can almost do what is a straight line between Newhall Mains and WIC this morning. So that's why we're totally chill and relaxed in the aircraft this morning. Totally chilling, checking out some Kirks. <laughs> checking out some Kirks. When you put that less stress and pressure on yourself, it really does make the flying a lot more fun. And I'm giving it a go this morning as well. I actually had a hands on. It's a beautiful takeoff. Take -off. Oh, I thank you, with your assistance Beautiful. and help, as always. Very soft on the nose wheel. Excellent executed grass runway takeoff. <gasps> Man, that's on film now. So well, you've got yeah, to stand by it that. It can be edited out. <laughs> I know, I know no, your never. tricks. I'm going to put that on loop. <laughs> That'll be my ringtone. Excellently executed short field takeoff. You got my standard view off to the right. <laughs> <laughs> You're always looking at the ocean over there. <laughs> Thank you for putting the coastline on the left. So you get the ocean, which is beautiful. It's stunning. This, oh, it's is, where, this is where the whales are. Oh yeah, so you're on whale lookout and I get, as we saw yesterday, I get the uh, the beautiful coastline over here on the side. So it's base for 3-1.
Base runway 31, we are five miles away. Off Echo Sierra, you are number one. Uh, the traffic is a Cessna 182 joining right hand downwind for runway 31. Report left base. We're on left base now, just about to call. And uh, slowly, uh, shortly turning final, Gulf Echo Sierra. Gulf Echo Sierra, Roger, report final. Turn to secure on the right, fleet. Yeah, we're good, man. Thank you. All good. All good. <sighs> Hello, Wake. Right, yellow lines guidance only. We're a small plane. <laughs> we had loads of room. What are we? We're not a king here. Uh, just joking. <laughs> Familiar faces. Who else we got? Mika and Steve. There's JP, Matt, Drew, who works here. Louis. After spending a bit of time catching up with Adrienne, Drew and Ben and the team at Far North Aviation, it was time to jump into our hire car which we'd organised to take us to John O'Groats. There were just a couple of issues with that though. First of all, our hire car turned out to be a Scottish van. To John O'Groats? To John O'Groats. And as the team at Far North Aviation kindly told us, John O'Groats is not the most northerly point of mainland Britain. Well, I thought the most northerly point was John O'Groats, but apparently we were just told that it's... John O'Groats isn't technically the most, most northerly point. So armed with that new information and in our very powerful van... This is it. That's right. That's right. Oh, this That's right. right. Sorry. That's right, that's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we took a beautiful drive through the Scottish Highlands and despite one or two slight navigational errors. So, you'll notice that we're not facing in the direction of the road. <laughs> I forgot to tell him to turn. And we're back. <laughs> but he's good. We did it. Good driver, three point turn. Thank you. Excellent. We eventually found our way to the most northerly point of mainland Britain. Here we are. All the caravanners with their off road vehicles. Super cool. Robert Stevenson. Who was the writer of uh... uh... Robert Louis Stevenson wrote Treasure Island. Yeah, and this lighthouse was designed by his grandfather. In mm -hmm. 1831 it was built. You might also, if you know Scotland, realise that this is not John O'Groats. Because the original plan was to go to John O'Groats because that was definitely the most northerly point in mainland Britain. But as we thankfully discovered, <laughs> Turns out this actually is. So we're at Dunnet Head, the official most northerly point of mainland Britain. We really planned this one well. <laughs> Just chilling, watching the birds. Oh. Oh, we have verified based on Google Maps from this vantage point out, that point is the most northerly point. We can see that point there, the jagged edge. But we can't get there. Yeah, we can't get there. It's it does look it does off. look a tad precarious, <laughs> yeah. but it's within reach. So I think officially we can say uh, northerly point done. Success. That's two out of four. And the next one's really difficult. Yeah, I we're looking at helicopters. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, we are. We're uh, trying to follow the coastline to the north and we'll be going up to uh, 1,200 to 1,500 feet on 1,009, Gulf Echo Sierra. Your controls though. Your My controls, taxi. okay, I'm yeah. taxiing, yeah. Clear take off through one right turn, Gulf Echo Sierra. All right, power's coming up. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Airspeed's increasing. Into the wind a little. And no runway remaining, flaps away. What a crook. What a crook. Hey, bye wick. Your plane? Right. My plane? My plane. Your plane? Oh, no, your plane. Oh, your no, plane. Our plane. Your plane. There's going to be a lot of my plane, your plane, because I think there's a lot of castles down here. Golf Echo Sierra, report Duncan's Behead and request your intentions after Duncan's Behead. Oh, report Duncan's Behead, and uh, after that waypoint, we're going to turn west and continue to follow the coastline. Golf Echo Sierra. Golf Echo Sierra, roger. Is this the John O'Groats point? It is, right here. This is John O'Groats. That definitely was the rock, though. That, that was the saw. rock. Yeah, that's where we were. Oh. Avoid the puffins. They were so pretty, so cute. They were so cute. We don't want to hit the puffins, for sure. So there it is, the most northerly mainland point of Britain, which was a nice place to come and visit. A beautiful drive. 
puffins are plenty. I'm glad we went there. Yeah, it was so cool. How many lighthouses is that, Philippe? Uh, 45. 45? I'm glad you've been counting. <laughs> it wasn't much further around the northern coastline of Scotland, though, that the weather started to really close in on us. Yeah. Ah, uh, what do we think? Oy, yeah. Oh, this sucks. The visibility started reducing and the cloud base started getting lower. We got to the point where we couldn't really descend any further to comfortably continue the flight visually, so we had to do the one thing that we didn't really want to on this leg. So do we do, do, we do, do we just punch up to, to 2000 I think see how it looks in uh, 20 miles? Yeah. I think climb. But we had to change to an IFR flight and climb up above the clouds. It did mean that there were probably more straighter lines along the top of the northern coast than I would have liked. But of course, safety always comes first in aviation, and it was a no-brainer to upgrade to IFR, get through the worst of the weather. Yeah, we're well and truly like we're in this, you know. We're, we're in level now. Alpha 2000. Yeah. Do you want to keep climbing? It's like we can. Yeah, we can climb. And once we were through it, just continue on visually. Three degrees. Here we go. That's good for now. I'll turn at one zero degrees, that's uh, two zero zero degrees heading. See, this is the slightly complicated bit now of determining what's an island and what's the mainland of Britain, because some of the bits that separate them are kind of finger thin. So we're weaving our way around. I think if it's called an island, yeah, right? Then they like have... the Isle of Skye. Well, of course, that, that helps you identify it. <laughs> on the, that's on true, the yeah, but that's surely that should be the definer. When we were on the East Coast, it's kind of easy because it's just yeah. the East Coast and nothing on the other side. But now you've got the West Coast and then you've got all the islands off the West Coast as well. Yeah, that's true. So, it's, uh, you know, which, which Firth do we go up? Which Firth don't we go up? Which headland do we cut over? And which yeah. don't we? So, it's, yeah, it's a little I bit more work. You raise a good point. We have to sort of judge it based on how much fuel we have for remaining. <laughs> yes, well that's all, as every good pilot should. <laughs> all the while as we're making our way around the coastline as well, Philippe has been eagerly keeping uh, an eye out for more whales after the, the, the first successful Philippe and Steph sighting of a whale. Not just a whale, whales. Whales. Yeah. You we saw, saw a pod. You saw more than I did. Yeah, you we, kept definitely, we definitely saw a pod. We, uh, we have... Uh, a high confidence. So it wasn't, we weren't confusing them with waves breaking. Yeah, we're, we're quite confident with that. And then we're gonna keep wiggling our way down the western coast and the destination today hopefully is open. And then we're gonna hook a left and fly up Loch Ness as well, which we did do a couple of years back. But that's basically gonna get us back home today. Here are your masts down there, but also oh, yeah. low level. Like 100 feet above. Yeah, but that's interesting with the mast going across the water like that. You don't want to be skimming down on the surface. No, no, no. Golf XSKI, I have a lot two way with you on the radar. Um, however, I don't know if you want to contact open information for a while on uh, 118 decimal 055. Why don't we stay with you for another uh, five minutes, then we'll switch to Oban when we're around the Isle of Ball. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Super, thank you. So this is our point, actually. This one in the distance? Yeah. Yeah. As a bit of a, a little precursor to tomorrow's episode, now that we've ticked off the easterly and northerly, we're actually doing a little scouting mission over the most westerly point of the British Isles, or of Great Britain, which was a little bone of contention for a while because I originally thought it was one place and that's where we were going to go to. But uh, once again, in the limited research we've done for this trip, we've actually discovered that wasn't the most westerly point. So this lighthouse that's coming up on the left-hand side is not the most westerly point of mainland Britain, but the little sort of headland that comes out just about 10 minutes walk from it is. Now the interesting thing with this point is obviously, as you can see, it's pretty darn remote. And to get here, we have a couple of options. One is very expensive and involves aviation, and I'm not sure if we're gonna get away with that idea. One involves a car, uh, but that means driving for about a five and a half hour round trip from the nearest airport. 
and one involves finding someone who might have a boat that can bring us down here, but we haven't actually found anyone yet who could do that. So we know where it is and we know where we need to stand, but what we don't know is how we're going to get here. Yeah, we've got the town of Oban dead ahead of us at the moment. This is kind of our sort of critical turnaround point. Well, not a turnaround point, but this is the destination for today because we're now going to stop tracking our path around the coastline of Britain here. And we're just going to hike back to the hotel just to get some rest and get a good night's sleep because we've got another big day tomorrow. But the way that we're going to get from Oban to basically Inverness, which is very close to where we're staying tonight, is down Loch Ness. Which admittedly, I have flown with Philippe once before, but it was a pretty lousy day and we were kind of scud running along. We didn't see very much. The clouds appeared to be a little bit higher. And as, thank you, as we make this left hand turn, you will get your requested level. we've got good visibility to try and see the monster. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. We uh, we sent the monster a letter, <laughs> asked him to show up. Yeah. After last, last time's performance where we saw nothing. That's right. Yeah. Did you get a response? Well, just from his media agency. We flew in what was basically a straight line northeast all the way from Oban up the locks. I always liked the name of this one. Loch Locky. Loch Locky. <laughs> past the only traffic that we actually saw on this entire flight today. The brown of the hill opposite. Oh, got him. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, nicely picked. Oh, search and rescue one. Before approaching New Hall Mains, our destination for the day. And it was here that after Philippe did his really smooth, annoyingly good landing at New Hall Mains yesterday. That was really nicely done. Like a Sierra, lovely landing. He decided to hand over controls to me for this landing instead. What? You'll do the landing? You want me to do the landing? Oh, well, I don't, it's up to you. Do you want to? Are you happy to do it? you want to do it? Yeah. Two different questions. Do I want to? Am I happy to do it? Do I want to? Yes. Yeah, good. Then you'll do it. Which he probably now regrets. Yeah, let's overfly. Do it the uh, old-fashioned way. And new home means good afternoon. I got Yankee Geek Sierra. We are six miles to the south and we'll overfly. Look at the runway. Uh, Roger, um, wind favoring 08. Uh, we're just cutting the grass in the parking area, but we're all set for your arrival. I just want to give myself a wide circuit for it. Yeah, man. For sure, yeah, yeah. You don't want to cut the downwind. Yeah. A bit high. Yeah, for sure. So just uh, keep the nose up. But yeah, I'm going to go around on this. Sure. Really, I'm too no high. problem. Yeah. No problem at all. Got back to we're going around. All right. So, yeah, that right there is good. All right, so get some flaps in to keep us slow. We're high again. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Then just level the wings, right? All right, Golf Echo Sierra is final. Yeah. No worries. Uh, see, so I'm high again. Yeah, what's going on there? I don't know. Well, we got a 10 knot tailwind. Yeah, the wind's coming from behind us. Yeah. No, no way. <laughs> All right, let's just check out this wind sock, because it's definitely a tailwind. All right, this time, we got it. Come no on. worries, man. It's a tailwind. It's a tailwind, because you were setting up correctly there. I'm going to go out further. I think that's what I've learned. Are you you're, you're idle? Yep. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, Gog. I go zero or final. Yeah, there you go. This is much better. This is great, man. Yeah. Get the nose off there. Well, he's not going to say that was a nice landing. Why? It was a landing. Plane's not broken. Yeah, let's have a look when we get out. Free landing guys, uh, same again if you want to cross the road, then take a left and then park on the same tie downs you're in. As we shut the aircraft down in New Hall Mains and take a look at the flight logs from today, you can see we did a short 98 kilometer hop from New Hall Mains to Wick in the morning, followed by a longer 660 kilometer trip with obviously some deviations for whale spotting around the northern and western coasts of Scotland. And together with yesterday's flying, that takes our flight total so far to 2,234 kilometers or 1,388 miles. But if you think the long distances and weather complications we face so far on this trip are gonna be the hardest thing, think again because tomorrow well we know exactly where we need to go now for the westernmost point of mainland britain but we have absolutely no idea still how we're going to get there but one thing's for sure i'm really grateful for you joining us on the journey so far and please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so along with us you can find out exactly where we end up in the next episode of extreme britain <laughs>